This is just a wee note to say that I've been tried by court martialed and sentenced to be shot. To die the death of a soldier. By the time this reaches you, I will, with God's mercy, have joined in having my poor father and mother, as well as my dear friends who have been shot during the week. They die like heroes, and with God's help, I will also try to be as heroic as they did. You only wish you could see me now. Hello, my name is Kevin McCann. I'm the director of the movie The Rising. This is 2016, the centenary year of the 1916 Easter Rising Rebellion. Over four years ago, I began to research the story of the men and women of that rebellion. And I'm very pleased to be directing the first movie to tell that story. I'm proud to say that we've assembled a cast of great Irish actors. As the enigmatic rebel Patrick Pierce, we have the brilliant Jonathan Rhys Myers, who's the star of The Tudors. Playing the hero McDermott, we have the emerging talent Colin Morgan. He was born to make his mark in the world. Do you think? I'm sure of it. Since playing the lead role in BBC's Merlin, he's shared the screen with Oscar winners like Charlize Theron and Alicia Vikander. I doubt it, my lord. Anyone wanting to poison his food would have to... Go. Brendan Coyle from Downton Abbey is a worldwide star, of course, and he committed to the project on the first read of the script and is going to be playing the chief secretary to Ireland. Good luck to you, my lord. I count myself very fortunate to be collaborating with the legendary actress Fiona Shaw, who's had a lifelong interest in playing the rebel countess, Countess Markovic. After my meetings with actors like Fiona, I've had a chance to carve out characters with specific actors in mind. For example, the Scottish actor David O'Hara will be playing the role of the Scottish Union leader and head of the Irish citizenry, James Connolly. Never sends sheep to kill a wolf. James was one of the leaders executed after the rebellion. Bleeding heavily from a gunshot wound, he was tied to a chair and shot. There is a revolution coming. We're very honored to have the debut screen performance of Michael Neeson, the son of Liam Neeson, who would be playing the role of Michael Collins, which is a role his father made famous 20 years ago. So with these actors and others soon to be attached, we will be telling the story of how a small group of men and women led a rebellion against the world's largest empire. Though based in fact, we have got a very strong sense of mythology and the mysticism of Celtic Ireland within this film. This is the story of the resurrection of a country after centuries of darkness. Visually, the feel of the rising will be uh, similar to films like The Godfather or The Unforgiven, even going back to the classical uh, Celtic mythologies of Ireland. Also, some Gothic horror, some urban Gothic horror like um, Dorian Gray or Francis Ford Coppola's uh, Dracula. But this essentially is a film about uh, a lightness after the darkness. So after the centuries of this oppressive darkness caused by the empire, our hero leads his people towards the light. And that is the, the, the central theme in The Rising. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. And uh, we hope you will come with us on this, on this journey.